great front court, Brett. A little throwback to the old days of the NBA when big men rule. Well, the game has become so perimeter oriented. These guys have a lot of skill and they're going to be able to operate inside a phone booth and we'll see if these big guys can find a way to dominate uniquely in the way that they bring their offensive crowd. And now the Atlanta Hawks starters. The tandem on the perimeter, Murray and Hunter. Collins plays the four with Capella at the five. And it's Young in at the one. And the shot's good. Ridiculous handles there. How effective is he at creating opportunities? Here's Serrano with the ball. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Yes, it's good. Using focus and balance to convert jumpers, wow. Siakam has really improved his shooting. Here's Young. He's in his comfort zone, two for two to start this one. And setting the tempo with an assertive move, like where was the defense on that play? Yeah, APB sent out to try to find out where the defense is, inexcusable. And that was the mobile one drive. No resistance to the finish line. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. That free throw good from Van Vliet. Akangu's checked in for Clint Capella. Van Vliet. Both free throws, good from Van Vliet. And the Hawks going from the Eastern Conference Finals to the eighth seed via play-in. A bit of a step backwards last year. Yeah. You know, growing as a young team has its ups and downs. Hawks know they can be better than the eighth seed. They now have an expectation of a playoff caliber ball club. Now here's Hunter. Second chance shot. Here's a Kongwu. And they finally get it to go. A full night's work on the boards and one trip down the floor. And they may have talked about shot selection coming into this. Van Vliet drives. Rejected by a Kongwu. Young against Van Vliet. The kick to Hunter. The three. No good that time. And it's Toronto taking it the other way and going against Atlanta, their first meeting on the year. And this is a matchup they expect to win. Certainly, last year they were the stronger ball club. Now here's Van Vliet. Boy, he just disappeared against Philadelphia. They needed him. Missed inside. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Young, the pass to Collins. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That one on Barnes. Collins showing more and more some moves that he's getting comfortable with. And that one falls. That puts him up one point in the game now. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Siakam outside. And then Siakam with the jam. He's just such a long and powerful player. I mean, once Siakam gets inside like this, he's ready to jam. Pass to Hunter. Back to Murray. Shakes him. And he takes it up and lays it in. And that's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. Barnes finds Trent. Now Ananobi. Back to Barnes. Inside. Here's Siakam. The rebound by Murray. Well, that mid-range J usually pretty much on the money. Maybe the timing just a little bit off on that one. And the DeJounte Murray trade sort of came out of left field. Seemed mutual as the Spurs went to a younger direction and wanted Murray to play for a contender. A trade where everyone involved gets what they want. <laughs> and this is something he does all too well. Great position for the putback there. And I like how he doesn't think twice about passing it out. Just going right for the slam. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Ananobi can't get it to go. The Hawks have gone five of nine from the floor. Here's Young. Banked it in off the glass. Young's got six. 
Now that basket must be widening out right now. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Floats one. Collins with the rebound. Atlanta's gone 0 for 2 from outside. To the middle. Here's Murray. And it's Toronto with a rebound. Trent with it. Checked by Murray. And lead on the wing. To the inside. Siakam. Rejected by a Kongwu. Murray passes to Young. To the paint. It's stolen by Barnes. And lead against Collins. Pass to Ananobi. From downtown. Can't hit that one. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Defeated by Milwaukee in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And, and you know, I mean, they played with great energy all the way through. Just fell a little bit short. Well, it would have been really nice to get that win on the road. But no team ever happy with a loss. Put up a good fight. They had nothing to hang their heads on after that one. Just five to shoot. Back to Siakam. Trying to get back on track. A Kongu with the rebound. Yeah, one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. He launched that one from way outside. For three. Nine points in the game. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Barnes drives in. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Leaping ability is off the charts. Not the biggest power for it, but outstanding. And rising up off the ground. Murray's shot is good. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Siakam in the post. A Kong Wu on him. Three on three. Three seconds left. And there's Hunter on the assist from Young. They've controlled the paint so far. That's been the difference. Yeah, the bully ball tonight has paid dividends. Highly effective down there with the physical play. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks ending the quarter up 10. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. We'll be right back after this word. We welcome you back to second quarter action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for Atlanta. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Well, one thing standing out right now is just how fearless everybody is in getting to the inside. They're taking advantage of any lane or angle they get to get after. Achua is out there with Barnes. Then there's Malachi Flynn, and it's Benton in at the two-guard spot. That's the group for Toronto to kick off the second quarter. Here's Flynn. Out left to the wing. Clock at six. The three from Barnes. Atlanta with a rebound. And after this game wraps up, they're off to New York to take on the Knicks. That'll put the finishing touches on a five-game road trip. Basket's good. They have no answer defensively inside. Toronto shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. Down low. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And legacies are defined in the playoffs. Game to game, what's the measure of greatness for a star player in your mind, Grant? Well, B.A., I think it's all about consistency. The great ones in this league historically bring it every night. They may have a bad game here or there, but for the most part, the energy, the effort, and the consistency is always there. And the Hawks making a change here. Capella's is checked in. Well, in the 2020-21 season, Clint Capella showed how valuable he can be, Brent. Yeah, he led the league in offensive and defensive rebound percentage. And for his career, he's averaging double digits on the glass. But that season, B.A., man, that was ridiculous, even by his standards. And so much reliance for this team on Capella and his grittiness to do the little things on the inside. They love that work ethic. 
Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Here's Capella. After the basket by Toronto. Murray passes to Kaminsky. Picked by Kaminsky. Here's Holiday. The shot misses. So it's Toronto now. It's a 10-point game. Quarter two and about two minutes in. Now here's Barnes. Last game for him, he picked up 13. Flynn's shot is off. Now here's Holiday, guarded closely. Here's Capella. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. Precious Chua picks one up. If Clint Capella gets two feet into the painted area like that, you're going to have to foul. Birch, he's checked in for Toronto. And he's good on the second. Yeah, they, they're really cashing in more at the line here in the second quarter. Here's Barnes. Hey, rejected by Capella. Capella's reach is so intimidating for anybody on the inside. That's why you can anchor your defense with him. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. It's stolen by Hunter. Here's Murray. Pass to Collins over Burt. Banton pulls it in. For Toronto, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. And that one misses. And some changes here for the Raptors. Young, he's checked in for Achua. And it's Ananobi in for Barnes. Here's Flynn, guarded by Young. Back to Flynn. Shoots over Young. And again, Toronto no good. For Atlanta, they've gone three of five since the beginning of the second. And he's going for the lob, and then it's Collins with the dunk. I would say that Trey Young's pick and roll game is fairly advanced for a player his age. What a treat to watch. Toronto's gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And the ball out of play. The Hawks will have it. And some changes here for the Raptors. Trent comes in for Banton. And Fred Van Vliet is subbed in for Flynn. The Hawks have gone four for six here in the second. Collins a screen. Young the pass to Collins. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got five assists tonight. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. Van Vliet against Young. They need this. Van Vliet misses. The Hawks have gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, the league and the world have endured tremendous challenges in recent years. Commissioner Silver said, quote, we found a way to keep going under very difficult circumstances. It required enormous diligence. To keep playing throughout the pandemic, we are particularly proud of that. Brian? Hey, the show must go on. Thanks, Ali. Time called here. The Raptors decide to talk it over. Holiday's checked in for the Hawks. The Raptors shooting just 28%. Lacking confidence on offense right now. Pass to Ananobi. Now here's Young. To the middle. Shot clock at six. The offensive rebound. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Holiday with the ball. Capella inside. He's guarded by Birch. Count that one. And the Hawks lead by 21. They're really dictating the tempo on both ends of the court. You love it. Yeah, the other team a bit concerned here. They're trailing, and the lead seems to be growing. Now here's Trent. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Pass to Van Vliet. The Raptors need to get off a shot. And Young slams it in. Surefire, one-handed stuff. Yeah, with his focus, he's not going to miss that. Collins a screen. 
Young with it, and it's Young picking him up. And Young with the block. There's 49 seconds left in the second. Holiday's over to help. Trent, the pass to Ananobi. Excellent D there from Collins. And here are the Hawks now. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Young. That's tipped. Stolen by Young. And an Obi for three. Capella with a rebound. Capella's got a rebound number five here tonight. Hunter finds Collins. Now Holiday. No good on the shot. Here's Capella. And he can't get that one. Burks with some nice D. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. The Hawks on top, up 19. And join us right back here after... Welcome. The first half is in the books, so let's check out the top performers for each team. You might think I only like seeing the big man battles. You're all right. And looking now at the first half of the game, Trey. Glad you could join us. Ryan Anderson and crew are ready to take it away. There wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. We're seeing a tremendous game from Trey Young. He's been on the attack, playing hard and going right to the rim. Yeah, nice job of carving his way to the inside with some ease. Not much resistance out there. Here's who Nate McMillan is starting the second half with. Hunter is the three with Collins at the four. Young runs point with Murray at the two. And it's Capella in at the five. And Toronto has possession. Trailing by 19. Van Vliet, the pass to Barnes. Back to Van Vliet. Going inside. Oh, the block! Just stops it cold and takes possession. Pass to Hunter. Stolen by Ananobi. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That one on Murray. You can see the length come into play, whether Siakam's facing up or back to the basket. That's good from Siakam. And so he hits both. Atlanta is shooting is around 55% so far. Collins with a screen on Van Vliet. Young from long range. And they get it back. Collins with a screen on Van Vliet. Young way outside. The long distance three is buried. Young's got 14. I mean, how do you stop a guy like that? Defensively, you want to protect the rim. He's so far away as Trey Young from the bucket. Barnes passes to Trent. Here's Barnes. Pass to Ananobi. Shot clock at five. Here's Trent. Hunter with the rebound. Hunter's got his fourth rebound in this one. And DeAndre Hunter is still just a young talent here in the league, but in college, he was a champ, winning the trophy in 2019. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now, one of four to start the half. Van Vliet, the pass to Ananobi. Inside, Barnes. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Having a national championship at the collegiate level is rarer than you think for an NBA player. Well, puts him in great company, and it's pretty much guaranteed proof of why everyone was so interested in his progress. He's a winner, and he's got tons of potential. Achua's checked in for Toronto. Ben comes in for Trent. That free throw, no good. And the Raptors making a change here. Flynn's checked in. And the second free throw is good. A difficult situation for Toronto. Barnes in the post. Hunter covering. Barnes, it's good. Barnes has got his second bucket of the night. 
Love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. When you use it right, the pump fakes as effective a move as there is. Siakam with it. A Kong Wu on him. Benton can't get it to go. The Hawks have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Here's Murray. It's deflected. The kick to Hunter. Pass to a Kong Wu. Oh, from deep. It's hauled in by the Raptors. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center after this one. It'll be the front end of a two-game road trip. Hunter against Achua. Back to Flynn. Now here's Siakam. From eight feet. The rebound by the Hawks. Murray's got a rebound number five here tonight. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout? and reiterate what he talked about at halftime. They grab their own miss. Bars, no good. Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. We love to give away shirts to our Now is that time to grab a free shirt. Get good, It's time for your And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Capella, he's checked in for a Kongwu. Collins comes in for Kaminsky. Martin, he's checked in for Hunter. And it's Young in for DeJounte Murray. Here's Young. Ooh, that one makes him seven for 14. Got a nice rhythm going here today. Trey Young, one of those guys who you feel is capable of going off at any moment. One of the league's elite scorers. Pass to Achua. Hey, rejected by Capella. Now here's Young, tight defense on him. Pulls it in from the elbow, kept alive. Drops in the layup for two. Young's got 18. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question, way too many empty possessions for them. Barnes against Martin. Hey, Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. His playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Here's Young on the take. Three-pointer Holiday on target from range. Holiday's gotten himself going here. His first points of the game on the deep ball. A minute 15 left in the third quarter. Barnes against Martin. Oh, and a vicious dunk by Barnes. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. Capella finds Young. Back to Capella. Nice move. Let's see some of the numbers here for Fred Van Vliet. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Marks. Vince Capella. At the line for two. That free throw misses. So Toronto going with almost an entire new group here. Young, he's checked in for Achua. Ananobi comes in for Scotty Barnes. Gary Trent Jr., he's checked in for Banton. And Van Vliet is subbed in for Flynn. Holiday's checked in for Atlanta. Murray comes in for Holiday. Trent, the pass to Ananobi. And the dunk to finish it off. A oh, beauty. Woo! <laughs> B.A., that's lit. Ferocious all the way. Man, that was good. To the paint. Stolen by Van Vliet. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Ananobi with it. Checked by Murray. Oh, a clear look for Ananobi. Collins with the rebound. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Capella can't get it to go. Here's Van Vliet. And he gets the bucket. Van Vliet's got six. 
Wow, he doesn't make those kind of plays too often. Sweet move inside. Here's Murray. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. Great job ending the quarter on a high note. Great way to end the quarter there. Team is pumped up. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks with a commanding 22-point lead going into the break. The hustle they've shown on defense has been tremendous. Back after this. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle. Well, you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Van Fleet and Trent Jr. team up as the backcourt. Thaddeus Young out there with OG Ananobi. And it's Siakam in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five out there for the Raptors. And the Hawks shooting has been good. 54% on this one. Young, the pass to Holiday. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his first foul of the game. Birch, he's checked in for Young. Holiday's checked in for Atlanta. Holiday's gone. One for three on the night. Trent outside. And the play-in tournament has been a success. But some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Grant, it kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, B.A., first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high-pressure elimination games. And, yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play-in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Six to shoot. Here's Holiday. The Hawks need to get one up here. A Kongwu with the bucket. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Well, I know they don't have mobile devices out there for texting, so they might as well talk to one another. Steps back. Siakam, the pass to Van Vliet. Over Holiday. It's tipped. And they get it back. Pass to Birch. Van Vliet outside. Over Holiday. And again, no good by Toronto. Lays it up and banks it in. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stats for the Hawks? Their defense has been on point all game long. They're out hustling the shooters and swatting down plenty of shots. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. Here's Kaminsky. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Opportunity for a three-point play here. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. And guess what? Mission accomplished. Always a good sign of maturity and steps forward when you can take this kind of effort, focus, and concentration on the road to get a win. Johnson, he's checked in for the Hawks. You know, for team owners, it often seems best not to take too active a role in basketball decisions. But, Grant, you're a team owner. How do you feel about this? Well, it's a tough situation, B.A. Many of these owners have made tremendous amounts of money building their fortunes, of course, being very hands-on with their business. But basketball is a different kind of business. Success is not always linear. And sometimes, as an owner, you're not an expert when it comes to this particular business. So it's interesting kind of being engaged, but not being too hands-on and letting your people do their job to the best that they can. And the Hawks making a change here. Clint Capella, he's checked in for a Kongwu. John Collins comes in for Kaminsky. Martin, he's checked in for Johnson. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Holiday. Yeah, undersized guys with athleticism do these kind of things, playing above the rim. Love to see him get up like that. Here's Murray. Second shot opportunity. Oh, he drains it. His sixth make and nine tries so far. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. 
Here's Flynn. He's covered by Holiday. Back to Flynn. Pass to Birch. The shot from the low post is good. Such a graceful move. We're showing off the floater game. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. Outside Murray. He's got it going on. Now seven for ten. The D hasn't been quick enough to react to the ball inside. That's helped cause this run. Here's Benton, defended by Murray. Poke loose and stolen by Murray. Holiday passes to Capella. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Every year, Clint Capella up there, one of the highest percentage field goal shooters we have in the NBA. Here's Benton, pass to Flynn, three-pointer, trains the triple. Pretty much not a player in the league is going to pass up a shot like that so much for the defense. All right, time for an injury report. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce to see how DeAndre Hunter's doing. Allie? Thanks, I caught up with the head athletic trainer for Atlanta. The knee did bend backwards and he confirmed it was hyperextended. Doesn't appear to be any significant ligament damage at this time. Obviously, this isn't at all how they pictured the start of the season. We'll have to see how this affects them moving forward. All right, that's good intel. We've definitely been thinking of him, and now we have some more clarity. Guys. That is what I'm talking oh, wow. about. Wow. Now, I know he makes it look easy, but it takes incredible... ...physical tools to pull that off. Athleticism and explosion. And the Hawks making a change here. Young's checked in. Grant, when you see players make that leap from star to superstar, think about guys like Giannis and Jason Tatum. I mean, what is that step like? You did it. Well, it's interesting. You know, you come into the league and, and, and you have success right away, but at some point, everything just clicks. It could be year four, year five, year six, usually in that window where now you figure things out and now you take that next step and become elite. Now, B.A., you know, I'm hoping that things start to click with me and my golf game. It's been about four or five years there, too. Superstar status is not in the cards for you on the golf course. <laughs> well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Hawks. And you don't usually see this kind of blowout, but tonight they delivered the punishment. I mean, what's so impressive is they never wavered in their approach. They just kept at it and showed they were without a doubt the better team. And it's a performance that will signify their fifth win of the year. Always good to start a season series off with a W. They showed tonight they take this team seriously, and the next two matchups between these two should be fun. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Trey Young. And with all these assists, it's obvious how well that he can see the entirety of the floor out there. If an easy bucket is to be had, he'll find it. Both shots good from the strike. Now Young. Screen by Capella. Young with it. Here he goes. Kicks it out to Collins. Launches it. So we see the Hawks taking the W here. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. You know, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for watching tonight's game. Last but not least, here is your New Balance Player of the Game, Trey Young.